Discovering the first true alien exo-Earth is a long-held dream for pretty much anyone following astronomy. Well, recent exoplanet discoveries have shown that small rocky worlds like our own are actually abundant in the galaxy. And according to the NASA Exoplanet Exploration page, scientists have found over 4,000 exoplanets since the first possibly such world was confirmed orbiting a sun-like star in 1995. To qualify as potentially Earth-like and life-friendly, an exoplanet must be relatively small, therefore a rocky planet, and orbit in the habitable zone of its star, which is where water can exist in liquid form on a planet's surface. Well, a few days ago, I made a video counting down the top 25 exoplanets closest to Earth by light years. Among the 25 planets in the countdown, I listed 4, which were orbiting the star Trappist 1, with distances of about 39 light years from Earth. Well, according to scientists, scientists discovered that these exoplanets were the most Earth sized planets ever discovered in the habitable zone of a single star, and that this planetary system was made up of seven worlds, and that most of these planets were likely to have water at one point, but had evaporated early in its system's formation. However, in 2018, scientists found that some of these planets could hold more water than that of Earth's oceans. And that one of the worlds in particular, which is exoplanet TRAPPIST-1e, is thought to be the most likely to support extraterrestrial life as we know it. See, TRAPPIST-1e is a rocky, close-to-Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone around the ultra-cool dwarf star TRAPPIST-1, approximately 39 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Aquarius. Astronomers found the exoplanet by using the transit method, in which the dimming effect that a planet causes as it crosses in front of its star is measured. TRAPPIST-1e is similar to Earth's mass, radius, density, gravity, temperature, and stellar flux. It is also confirmed to not have a cloud-free hydrogen-dominated atmosphere, meaning it is more likely to have a compact atmosphere like the terrestrial planets in our solar system. TRAPPIST-1e orbits its host star quite closely. One full revolution around TRAPPIST-1 takes only about 6.1 Earth days to complete. It orbits at a distance of just under 3% the separation between Earth and our Sun. For comparison, the closest planet in our solar system, Mercury, takes 88 days to orbit the Sun. Despite its close proximity to its host star, TRAPPIST-1e gets only about 60% the starlight that Earth gets from the Sun due to the low luminosity of its star. The star would cover an angular diameter of about 2.17 degrees from the surface of the planet and would appear about four times larger than the sun does from Earth. As mentioned, TRAPPIST-1e is confirmed to not have a cloud-free hydrogen-dominated atmosphere, meaning it is more likely to have a compact hydrogen-free atmosphere like those of our solar system's rocky planets further raising the chances of habitability. See, hydrogen is a powerful greenhouse gas, so if there was enough to be easily detected, it would mean that the surface of TRAPPIST-1e would be inhabitable, since such an atmosphere is not present. However, since such an atmosphere is not present, it raises a chance for this planet to have a more Earth-like atmosphere instead. As one of the most promising, potentially habitable exoplanets that was found prior to the launch of the new James Webb Telescope in December of 2021, many scientists are now very happy to do further studies and extensive analysis of this planet's atmosphere. 
facilitating the search for any chemical signs of life. And although no official signs of life have been detected, for those of us following astronomy, the long-held dream of discovering the first true alien Earth really puts things in perspective and gives us a place to look and something to look forward to. As the exoplanet TRAPPIST-1e is definitely one of the coolest discoveries that we have found in space. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with all of that. If you like this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.